Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. We're gonna go ahead and apologize for this being a little late. We just didn't feel like putting clothes on last night and recording a video. So we said we'll do it on our lunch break. So and I guarantee you it's gonna be under 30 minutes. And we was pissed off too, because I probably would have said some stuff I was gonna regret if I got on camera last night. Yeah, we needed a moment just to woosa, because yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. But we're going to get right into it. Like I said, we're yeah. on our lunch break. So, we started off with, let's just deal with Blue. So, we know the whole thing with Blue and the school and how some agree, some don't agree. Well, on last week, we saw that they were leaning more towards, we can find him some comparable education here. Yeah. Well, this week, we saw that Blue being the intrigued, well, I'm not going to say nosy, intrigued kid that he is mm -hmm. he read the acceptance letter and then he got excited about the letter yeah so then he told his parents he was like you know i want to go but i don't want to leave y'all so they kind of settled in a my lip he not gonna go then later on down the line they had another conversation with blue mover for really really quick blue ended up telling them that he would not mind going to that school and just having to come back home to saint joe and visit every now and then. Yeah. So this is where it started to get yeah, real. Yeah, this is when it all went to hell with Aunt Vi. Because the family <laughs> has a weekly, bi-weekly, they, they have a family meeting via Zoom. Which is cool. I like that. So while meeting, I like how Ralph Angel and Darla played this. Yep. Because you let the kid tell him tell it. Yep. what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so they're all sitting there and Blue tells them, you know, listen, I have an exciting opportunity. I'm going to be going to this school. And you can see on Vi's face like. Yeah. Like, like rocks do the candy voice. <laughs> well, I was like, so I'm about to say something. So everybody yeah. was like, oh, I'm so excited for you, Blue. She said, uh, I'm surprised. I'm like, I'm like, come on, on Vi. And then she started texting. Texting, yeah. Rob, <laughs> I said, why her letters are her phone so big? But she started texting. And I was like, this is going to go yeah. real left real quick. Mm -hmm. Well... After the meeting was over and their family was like, Blue, we're going to miss you. But, you know, good luck. You're going to excel. You're going to do all those great things that we know that you would do. <sighs> Ra and Unvi got on that phone. Oh, man. And this is the part about Unvi that I don't like. I love Aunt Vi because she's so strong. She's the glue that holds the family together. Right. She's that <laughs> voice of reason when you need her to be. But she's also that one that can be the blockage to a lot of things when it comes to the family. She can actually just drive a wedge in between a whole lot of stuff because she is so strong-willed. So, she immediately came on attack mode. Yep. Told Ralph Angel, you, you are, are not, not your father's son. I was like, what? What the hell is that supposed what to What that have to do with him sending Blue to a better school? And she did the same. Now, Nova, she messed up yeah. by putting them in the book. But coming at them like that with hurtful stuff like that now i give it to ralph angel he tried, he tried not to disrespect yeah. her yeah. he was like uh, Vi, i'm trying not to disrespect you by hanging up on you right now but you coming at me real sideways she went on and on about how your father would be ashamed of you. you yeah you know that blue stays home i helped raise that boy he stays here and ralph angel put it on out there like this he was like but he not your son right you not even a mother i said oh hmm that hurt. That but hurt. he but he did say, I appreciate everything that you did. You know what? Pretty much when they when him and Dollar were messing up, him locked up and Dollar strung out. And he did thank her for that. But yeah. Yeah. It's it's such a catch, it's such a catch twenty two, man. It is. It's like So we don't know where they're going to go with that because they left off of that telephone call like this. Yeah. Because heated. It was heated, man. It was real heated and I didn't like it. But let's move over to Davis East because yeah, he is not that, Davis that, West. That's definitely not Davis West. No. Davis East is over at that house taking care of Charlie like he been <laughs> paid to do so. Like yep. the agency sent him over there to say be safe. And he enjoying it, man. He, don't, he look like he don't even want to leave. He, he out there making homemade soup. Yep. He making pasta sauce. Fixing the dough that he had to break into. 
making green juice with the, <laughs> with the pineapples because he said, I know you won't drink it unless it's sweet. And <laughs> and Charlie is looking at him like, like who is this dude? I mean, what is going on here? And then she goes into, you know how Charlie is. She thanks you, but she also lets you know that if I was better, I wouldn't have to call you. And she said, I want to thank you for interrupting your schedule to come by and to see about me. Davis E said, <laughs> listen, there is not another place on this planet that I will be. And if, if I if am have a call. And for if me. you do call, I'm going to drop everything. What? Huh? What y'all not going to do is make us like him again. Yeah. Y'all not going to make us like him. Stop trying to sell us Davis West with Davis East. <laughs> All I wanted Davis to do in that opportunity right there was to tell Charlie, I am so sincerely sorry. Now that they both have moved past it a little bit more. Yeah. I really wanted him to just be like, I am so sorry. And I'm not doing this because of what I did. I'm doing this because I truly do love you. And he does. He loves her and she loves him. That just don't mean they're supposed to be together. So that's what I'm hoping now, that they don't push on us. Now, here's my verdict that I hope that happens. You know, I, I do believe in reconciliation and repairing relationships and stuff like that. Over there. But let them repair it to be good friends. Because like right, right now, I love the friendship dynamic. I don't think they're good for marriage. No. And where is his daughter at while he over there playing house over there taking care of Charlie? Where's the baby at? Where's hmm. she at? Well, he, did make, she he, baby, well, he did make reference when they were talking about Micah. How how uh, Charlie was saying it was real difficult to raise Micah now because he's older. And he started, you know, making references. I guess he was talking about his daughter. Because he was I'm talking like, about Micah too. Yeah. So, we're going to move off of that because Davis East said, you know what? My, I think you're well. Just t continue to take it easy. I'm going to go ahead and go back home. But the offer stands. If you need me, I will be back here. And I'm still sitting here like, I ain't seen nobody spray no microband. Nope. I ain't seen nobody wipe down no Lysol. He no, don't have no, no mask on. I swear, he ain't got no toilet tissue rolled up in his nose, no nothing. Like, for real, you in a whole house with COVID-19. <laughs> and you're not trying to protect yourself. So somebody in the comments said that they believe that this is how we're going to get rid of Davis East. Is that he going to um, contract COVID-19 die. I don't hope he die, but it's not mm. far-fetched. Yeah. So let's get on to the meat and potatoes of why we are here and why we are so glad that we took a moment. Because you you kind of, you kind of like kind of picked it up in your spirit about Calvin. I did. Because you I was did. watching the way that he would, he been moving. I said something and ain't this right. going, you know, you know, going out, way out of town and. It's third I don't lie though. Yeah. So. Let's let's start from one part in this episode. I ain't gonna start from when I've been side on him, but one part in this episode where he was out on this trip, this business trip that he called Nova on Facetime, where he had to get the trip extended because they're on some special COVID nineteen mission, yeah, and they're reassigning his responsibilities. Da 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 da. And I said, something just don't feel right. Something ain't right. I yeah, said, something don't feel right. Turn that camera around so we can see where you are for real. Because that don't even feel right and it don't even sound right. So in my mind, I said, he probably don't found a chick that got smoother, darker skin because you know that's his persuasion. He out there messing around with somebody else. Hmm. That's what I was thinking in my mind. Yeah. Let's move forward. Nova ended up having a conversation with one of the trailblazers that is in the same line of work that she is in. But this lady had, you know, she laid the mantle down and... You know, she's not really doing those kind of things anymore, but her, her catalog is extensive. Right. Like, she really has a lot of meat that goes with a lot of cases that really have not, not had any real resolve to. So, Nova is talking to her about this case about Andre Nixon. We saw where they were bringing mm -hmm. that up um, a few weeks ago. And long story short, Nova ended up reaching out to Andre Nixon because she wanted to have a conversation with him. He ended up calling, but he had one of those, I don't know if I should or, or I shouldn't. shouldn't. Yeah. So she was saying, hello, hello. And he was like, uh, I said, first of all, if you're going to be on my phone, be, be right with it. Yeah. And I actually thought he wasn't going to do it because the moment that lady was telling her that they basically lied to the police and said he just fell down and hurt himself. Yeah. So I actually didn't think he was going to call no. Yeah. So yeah. Brought up a good point. I didn't, yeah. I didn't bring y'all into what <clears throat> Andre's thing was. 
Andre was beat up by the police and they never really got any nothing was going to be done anyway put it yeah. that way no yeah whether or not they cooperated or not nothing was going to be done we know that we know history repeats itself and it'd be true so andre decided that he was going to meet up with nova and they were going to have a conversation so they met up looked like in a park state park or something like that and he rolled up literally yeah rolled up homeboy is in a wheelchair homeboy is paralyzed yeah so no you know it took nova back a little bit and she's having a conversation with him and she was like you know can you recall to me the night that these things went down and he was like pretty much i was a good kid had a scholarship mm -hmm. was doing the right things decided on that one day to, to do, do the something. wrong things to go steal and he was like we got caught the police took us into this alley and they mm -hmm. just took turns beating our tails and he was like, I kept telling them, say, hey, I'm different. I got a full ride. I'll never do this again. Police were like, oh, yeah, you'll never do this again. Basically, down payment for right. what they're about to do. So hmm. he said, I really got a brunt of the beating. And then there was just this one last blow that literally broke my back. Yeah, that paralyzed me. Yeah. And that's why I'm in this wheelchair now. So Nova says... Can you identify the police officers that did that? And he was like, how could you, you forget, forget yeah. a face of someone that has done this to you? I will never forget those cops. It's the one in your book. It's, no, it's the one in your paper. And I said, wait, wait. I was like, the only officer that I know that's in your paper is it's Calvin. Unless, unless I'm missing something. So she gets to shaking and tears start to flowing down her eyes. And the guy is looking at her like, ain't that why, ain't that, ain't that why, why we, we were here? here? Mm -mm, that, 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 she, that was the furthest from her mind that her man was, was a part of that, of the beatings of black people. When he sat there and lied to her face and told he lied her, to her man. that the reason that he even left the, no, I'm not going to say that because I don't remember. But he never participated. Yeah, he, he just stood sat back, back. He sat back and watched. And come that to we find told no, out, you participated. That you participate. Not only did you participate, you have ruined, ruined this boy's, boy's career. Yeah, he will never walk again. Right. Because and you was verbal with him. You talked to him in that alley, and so when Nova asked you, now this is my thing. If you made a mistake and you done with that, you wouldn't have lied to Noble. You would have told Noble right, when right. I was on the force, I, did I, I got with these stuff. cops and these black kids stole and I participated. I participated. I didn't want to. And so I just went along with it. And this is what I did. And I'm ashamed of it. No. And my, my thing is that you ain't done because you won't honest. I'm sitting here like I had so many things going through my mind and I was like, is he like an inside informant? Like like, like he was sent to spy on Nova or something yeah, like that? Yeah, like is he a person that planted himself with Nova to get a bird's eye view of what her next moves are going to be so that her next moves will be blocked? Which makes me think all about when the fact that they were trying to have the, the kids in the Black Lives Matter march and uh -huh. how all and of a sudden got shut down. you can't get your permits and all yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do you have are you sleeping with the enemy? Literally? Ah, Calvin. And the thing about it, I Calvin. really like Calvin though, man. I liked Until him at that first. point right here. I started side eyeing him and I said something ain't right about old Calvin. Anytime a, do a joker purposely put some gel in his hair and slick it straight back like that, something is not right. It ain't failed me yet. Man, I I I I, I don't know what Nova gonna do. We're gonna find out next week. Well, next but week I hope, is the finale, right? Yeah, it's finale. So I, I sure hope that she's gone, and I don't, I don't want him to say no bullshit of why he kept it from him. to protect you. To protect you? No. I didn't. Hell no. I didn't want to hurt you. No. Me finding out. You knowing that's her life work. That's her life work is to protect black people from police brutality. 
Well, one part of it anyway. And, that's and you know you that. And that's who you are. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else for them to do but break up. Real yeah. talk. Yeah. Buck that yeah. wedding. Yeah. Buck that ring. Matter of fact, I will put kerosene on his side of the bed so when he... I'll let him Duh. lay there and let his skin burn off. You hear me? We ain't trying to get Nova locked up. We need we need, I, we, we, need to, we need her to do the work, man. Oh. So they'd they be real up to Alice to lock her up to cut that off. <sighs> she need to pay somebody to do it. <laughs> y'all, y'all let me know what y'all... I know y'all was mad. I know y'all was mad. I know y'all been hitting me up on Instagram was like, I can't wait for this. I couldn't do it last night. I could not do it. I'm telling you. Queen Sugar has been such a trigger for us this entire freaking season. Yeah. Because, like I said, we, we got COVID. We, we got police need brutality. We're going to need counseling. Say, we're about to go see your counseling. We're your living it. And, and we're watching it. We're living it and we watch. Yeah, I might have to get a um, little tune up. Look, black people, there's nothing wrong with going to see someone. No. To speak about some things. It don't mean nothing wrong with you. It means that you're self-aware. Right. That when things are starting to bother you, I need to get a tune-up. Just like you take your car to get a line-up. Mm-hmm. Why don't you go and get your spirit line back up here? And, and your day. mind. Yeah. And, and during COVID, you can do it online. Exactly. So don't let people think that you're crazy because you, you go and seek some help. You go to the doctor when something ain't right, don't you? When this ain't right and when your spirit is heavy. Go and check it with somebody. And I ain't saying your pastor because your pastor may not be qualified to handle you. Right. Straight from the VA. I'm done with Calvin. <laughs> Too well. Too down. Holla. Holla.